Welcome to Larry's Garage. Today I want to do a visual comparison between the Triumph NSS 8 lift, which is that one, and the Triumph NSS 8 XLT, which is this one. Uh, I know that you can probably find the dimensions as I did, but I thought it might help to just visually see what the differences are. Uh, there are a lot of similarities. The uh, ramps, or what do they call them? Uh, runways, the things that the car sits on. Um, those are the same distance apart between the two, and they're the same width there uh, between the two. So they're, I think, 37 inches apart, and each runway is 18 inches wide. So uh, in that respect, the biggest advantage to the XLT is there's more distance between the side of the lift and the runway on each side. It's, it's about the same on each side. I didn't actually measure it, but I assume it's the same on each side. So there's more distance than there is on the regular NSS8. Um, and the, the lowered, they're both the same height off the ground, which is five inches. Um, the uh, overall height and width, I actually had somebody ask me this question on my video of putting it together. It's measured from the outside of the 12 by 12 base plates in both directions. So the NSS X XLT is, uh, let's see, almost two feet longer Let's see no that's not right the XLT is uh, a foot and three inches longer um, and it's a little bit wider because the space you know, between the runways and the sides. Let's see, it's uh, looking at my calculations here. One foot four. So it's um, about six inches, eight foot ten to nine foot four. So about six inches wider. Uh, one of the biggest reasons I got the XLT was because of the height. It actually lifts up underneath the runways is six foot seven. So I can walk under it without hitting my head. Although I have found that if I lift it up all the way, it's hard to reach things up in there. But at least like right now, I'm just basically storing the car up there um, in between projects and I can walk under it without hitting my head. The regular lift underneath the, the runways is only five foot nine. So I have when the Mustang's not parked there I have hit my head several times. So very annoying. Now let's see what else might you find of interest. Uh, one of the things that it says uh, it doesn't give you a lot of detail about the locking positions. <clears throat> On the regular one, there's 10 locking positions. And the first one is 18 inches off the floor. And the next one is, is 12 inches above that one. And then after that, they're uh, 5 and an eighth inches apart all the way up. On the XLT, the lowest one is, and it, 
in the specs that I found, it said there was 10 on it too, but there's actually 13. Um, the lowest one is, I think, 24 and a half inches off the ground. The next one is five and a half inches from that one. And after that, they're four and a half inches apart. So the spacing apart is, is a little smaller than the uh, regular one. And there's more, more lockout positions. As I said, there's 13. Um, and I actually didn't realize that to today when I counted them, but uh, let's see what else. I think that's about it. Um, length, the ramps are it's they're a couple inches difference. The, the ones for the regular one are 34 inches long, and the ones for the XLT are 36. Uh, they seem pretty much interchangeable. I've used uh, both ramps on both lifts, so I, but I'm not sure why there's actually a, a length difference. Didn't, doesn't seem to make much difference though as far as usage goes. Um, let's see, is there anything else? I'm sure there is. And if you have questions that I didn't answer, please feel free to ask them in the comments. But other than that, I think that's about all. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'll, I'll back up one more time and just kind of visually from a distance show you the difference. You, there's the height. They're, they're both at the highest lockout right now. So, And they both are long enough for a typical car. Um, you know, you might want the XLT if you had a really long, like, pickup truck or something. But... For most vehicles, I think either one would work. And that's about it for today. Thanks for watching.